Time to review one of my favorite Afro House producers, one of my favorite Afro House artists, Paso Doble. Paso Doble to me is one of those names where you might be listening to a track that you love and you might not know the name of the track, you might not know who produced the track, then you look it up and you find out it's Paso Doble. Every time I've heard a track that I've heard before, that I've liked, that I've shared, that I've felt, a lot of the times it was Paso Doble, a lot of the times it was this artist, it was this producer who created that sound. Underrated, underrated, not mentioned enough, not nearly enough I think when it comes to when it comes to the leaders of Afro House, not nearly enough. We've got to mention this guy more. And yeah, man, give him his flowers. Give him his due flowers because he deserves it. And every single production, every single track he puts out, it's like an eight plus, eight out of 10. Eight and above. That's what I'm trying to say. It's an eight and above out of 10 and I think he just released what did he release the premier Gaud Paso Doble remix when did that come out okay that was last year this year when you're back a couple of good goodies in there as well yeah when you're back oof, what a track that was that was earlier this year I played that in my podcast but yeah that's what I'm saying like there's a lot of surprise when it comes to Paso Doble tracks that you love tracks that you didn't know it was him behind the sound and he's different man he's different he's different i feel like his sound is also quite distinct he's found a way to make that apparent to really show his identity in the sound quite build up sound anticipation as the track progresses smooth before you know it you are grooving before you know it. You are feeling the electricity. You are feeling the drums and everything that makes an Afro House track. His productions catch you off guard. His productions, like I said earlier, build up anticipation. But before you know it, bang. Patience. There's a patience to his productions. But at the same time, like he knows when to drop it. He knows when to speed it up, when to pick it up good dj man good dj good music and it's not just afro house right kind of deep techie as well progressive electro like there's a lot in here that he can do talented versatile can do it all man lots of colors when it comes to pasta doble sound i'm not quite sure where he's from i think he's based in canada um but you know pasta doble of course spanish um words but yeah interesting interesting i would like to do more research as far as his background influence as far as afro house why afro house but it's clearly working for this guy the sounds that he is creating are top tier and i think he's one of the most underrated producers in afro house what should we listen to what should we listen to what should we listen to there's three tracks or four rather that we can listen to when you're back I play that quite a lot so maybe not that one Thousand and Two Nights that is the Paso Doble hit most played track on Spotify but let's go with the Premier Gao remix let's go with that one let's go with the Premier Gao remix lots of great remixes actually there Shout out to Night Freak. All right, let's do it.
one minute in yeah what I was saying earlier about building up the momentum you know gradually taking the listener from one destination to the other this is the experience with Paso Doble different different every now and then he drops a little drum every now and then he drops a clap but it's all methodical it's all at the right time but he doesn't rush it everything is just smooth vocal here clap but underpinning that just chill not yet not yet let's keep going What? Guys, that phase of the track was unbelievable. I was buzzing. I was buzzing. But not one kick, drum, clap, snare, nothing. Nothing. It was just a breakdown phase, build up, atmos. Not one kick, drum, nothing and I was buzzing. Not everyone can do that, man. Not everyone can do that. That's what I was saying with this guy, man. Takes his time, but knows exactly how to get you going as a listener. Knows exactly what sound will work at what time. Masterful, masterful. Francis Mercier, Magic System, Premier Go, Paso Doble, Remix, Paso Doble, Remix. I enjoyed that, man. I enjoyed that. That was only three minutes. Three minutes, 34 seconds running time for this track. And you be the judge. You be the judge of this production. You be the judge of, you know, take your time when going through his catalog his material there's a lot of 
quality sounds when it comes to Paso Doble. But you be the judge. You tell me what you think of this artist. I think when it comes to polished quality Afro House productions, he's up there. Doesn't do too much. He doesn't do too much. But it feels like he's doing a lot, you know, with the emotions that he can bring out of the listener, with the emotions that he can bring out of the audience. But if you listen carefully, it's all patient, it's all very smooth and cool, but at the same time, he will definitely hit you. That was Paso Doble. I had to show this guy some love because I think, yeah, underrated. 66,000 monthly listeners on Spotify should be at least 300,000, I think. Paso Doble.